Hi, and welcome to finally a new edition of On Location with Mike Strito. I'm Mike Strito. Been a long time. I got a great show today. Uh, I got the producer, director of the next Fab Four Music Festival. He's been on my show before. Uh, we've been partners, best friends, and all that. And without further ado, I'm going to say hello to Charles. Hey, Mike. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for uh, having it, me back. It, it, it's been a while. <clears throat> great to be back. I got to start out with a question. I, I've had people ask me, and that is, why wasn't there a show last year? Huh? So after um, you built it up to, you know. Yeah. Well, for we did it a few years. We did it for four or five years in Danbury. Right. And called it Danbury Fields Forever. Right. And didn't get really all that much support from Danbury. Right. And we thought, all right, you know, it ran its course. We're never going to really draw big crowds. And I thought, it's done. Yeah. It's, you know, put it to bed. It was nice while it lasted. But then this year was what? The 50th anniversary of Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper. I couldn't let that go by. Yeah. And so we found a, a location which we think is going to be amazing. Yeah. And that's, of course, the Toyota Oakdale Theater. And I thought, well... Let's go for it. Let's do it big. Let's do it better. Double the amount of bands. Uh, great venue. And uh, having it right pretty much in the same month as uh, the 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper. So we're bringing it back and bringing it back bigger and better. Yeah, no, this is great. I got to ask you something uh, 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 kind of on a personal note. Where was Sgt. Pepper with you? Was it like your favorite album, The Beatles? Or where, where did it, you know... Where did it fall in? Did you like it? Did you understand it? Did you know? Yeah. So, like you, I was a kid when it came out. Yeah. And believe it or not, I remember going to the record store and picking it up. And this is the new Beatles album. And how can I not grab it? How can I not buy it? Yeah. And I didn't because it didn't have a hit on it. Mm -hmm. I looked at these songs, and these songs were foreign to me. And I'm listening to AM radio. You know, I'm mm -hmm. in the Bronx. Yeah. I'm listening to ABC and WOR and WMCA yeah. and those great radio stations, and sort of. Uh, swaying towards the monkeys, yeah, you know. Um, yeah. At that time, the and monkeys. Headquarters or something. Yeah, it was the <laughs> first monkeys album, and more of the monkeys and headquarters were really yeah. taken over for me. So for that little period, mm. I didn't stop loving the Beatles, yeah. but I think I was buying more monkey records, right. as was most of the world, yeah, yeah. than 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 Pepper. And it wasn't until years later that I really, I think, I bought Mystery Tour and Yellow Sub before I ever got Pepper. Wow, and. Uh, now, Penny Lane, us Beatle people know Penny Lane and Strawberry, Strawberry Fields. Fields were supposed to be on that album, and they weren't. Now, Bill Lass had just told me recently that the album's coming back out, and they're going to finally put Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields on there. Uh, so that's pretty wild. So, yeah, 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 yeah. For the 50th anniversary, I yeah. guess they're releasing um, a, a deluxe edition, yeah. a reissue, uh, and it's going to have those on it, and it's going to also have other versions of the songs, yeah. working versions and outtakes. Yeah. So it's going to be a pretty special edition. And, you know, if you're not going to do it in the 50th anniversary, when are you going to do the right, special stuff? Right. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to let you talk about it. So tell us a little bit about what's going to be here. I, I know you got... Uh, uh, one of the Rascals, which was my favorite American group of all time, and uh, and you got to be friendly with Gene and, yeah. and everything else. So I'm going to let you grab the ball from here. Well, unlike the Beatle conventions you and I used to do in the 70s, yeah. 80s, yeah. and 90s, those were very uh, memorabilia was the main thing, and the special guests and the films and right. all that. And with the music festival, it's all about the music. Right. That's the main thing. But we always wanted one guest to come and, and be representative of the 60s. As you know, in the past, we had one of the members of the Herman's Hermits. We had one of the members of the Animals. Right. You know, every year, we try to have a special guest. And this year, we thought, well, who was big in 1967? Who was a contemporary of the Beatles, but who was American? We brought in Gene Cornish, who's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and who's a member of the Rascals. Who yeah. You know, Beatle fans love the Rascals, and Rascal fans seem to love the Beatles. Well, you know, as you know, they, their manager... You who passed, who was friendly, we, we miss him, we love him. He also co-produced, uh, well, Shea Stadium, or... or, pay, or he presented Shea he, Stadium yeah. and presented the the Rascals. He was their manager, and we're talking about Sid Bernstein. Sid Bernstein. God rest late, his soul. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, loved him, yeah, loved him. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there's obviously all those tie-ins. So in addition to our very special guest who will be there to sign autographs and meet fans and take pictures, there's 20 bands. I mean, this is insane. Uh it, Ten bands are going to be indoors under the dome at the Oakdale, and then ten and the bands. The dome is the old 
in the round. Is Correct. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where a lot of the concerts are being held. Mm -hmm. So not in the part where the seating is, mm -hmm. but inside the dome. And then another 10 acts, the other half, are going to be on, outside on the patio, keeping that festival feeling along. So, the, you know, the, the, the both show, both, both uh, stages are going to be packed with music, pretty much nonstop music. And we've never had that many before. In addition, there's going to be food trucks, a lot of great delicious food, a lot of different varieties. There's going to be memorabilia exhibitors and uh, attractions for people who want to buy and look over collectibles or they want to bring their own items and, you know, see what they're worth. That's all going to be there. So it's really the whole gamut mm -hmm. of, um, of stuff. You know, it's funny. We mentioned that our special guest is one of the rascals. And I also mentioned that, you know, the monkeys were big you know, in 67, and the, that I was buying their records instead of the Beatles for well, that I, one I, little period. And I was too, like, like, and I mentioned Bill Last again, too. We all, you know, yeah. we really were. Well, we, we t I tied that into this event in a very, you know, sneaky way. We have, for the first time ever, a Monkees tribute band playing. Yeah. We now, also, they're from what, Jersey or Pennsylvania? They're actually from Rhode Island. Okay. And then we also have... Um, uh, one of the solo artists, Scott, who used to be in a group called the Blue Meanies, mm -hmm. who are a Monkeys tribute band. Right. And there's one other Monkeys connection, and that's a local guy from Clinton, Rich Dart, yeah. who's who dra who's the drummer of the Monkeys right. tr yeah. touring yeah. band, yeah. and is also and in he's a, a band. Nice guy, he's so, a great yeah. guy, yeah. and he's also in a band, uh, Al Ferrante's, um, uh, one of the bands who's playing, who's doing Beatles. He's the drummer for that band. They're called the Country Gentlemen, wow. <laughs> named after. George's guitar. George's guitar. Like uh, another, Mike Dance I was going to say, like <laughs> the Hoffners who were named after Paul, Paul McCartney's bass. Yeah, so yeah. that leads us into, you know, some of the, there's yeah. so many great bands, yeah, but of yeah. course your band, the Hoffners are the yeah. headliners, mm -hmm. and you're going to be doing a Sgt. Pepper set as the, pretty much the uh, climax, as the, uh, as the ending of the whole event. You're the yeah. last band playing, and you'll be doing that in your, in your Pepper outfits, yeah. which are very exciting. Yeah, you know, we basically, for the longest time, real quick here, always just did, we'll say from 62, 63 to 66, and obviously we wore the, the, the black suits, the, the uh, Sullivan. Ed Sullivan look, yep. and then the Shea Stadium jacket. So, so my guys especially were very excited to be, to be doing this, this was a, a, a something that we've been like trying to get to. So it, it was interesting, and we just did a performance in Brantford that went really, really, really well, and we did good out of the gate. And it was interesting and weird wearing these outfits uh, for me, anyways. It's been a long time, but um, well, for Hoffner fan, Hoffner's fans who know you as that touring years band and know that you've been doing the 1964, 65, 66 stuff for all these years, it's going to be a special treat yeah. getting them to see you in the Sergeant Pepper yeah, outfits, yeah. mustaches, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the whole yeah. gamut. Yeah, that's exciting. Now, some um, about some of the groups now, matter of fact, I'm going to bring up him up again, Bill Last. Um, Bill is also a dealer that will be at the show. But Bill asked me today, he says, so all 19 or all 20 bands or bands? And I said, no, some are singles. Some solos. Some are duos. Some duos, some trios. Yeah. Uh, most of them are the four and five piece, like a normal Beatle tribute band. But I think one, number nine, might be seven or eight guys. Yeah, that's a big There's a lot big, of them, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, they're all doing different stuff. That's what's really great. Yeah. Some are doing early stuff. Some are doing solo stuff. A few of the bands are mixing and matching. You're doing all of Pepper. Another group is doing all of Mystery Tour. And I think one other is doing all of Revolver. So that's really exciting. Those kind of the headline yeah. bands, besides yourself, uh, the group Mystery Tour. Well, well yeah, you got, dress what, up three, bands. you got three dress-up groups. Mystery also, Tour, what, Penny Lane? And Penny Lane, yeah. And obviously... Yourselves. Right. Three and, dress-up bands. And I'll tell you, somebody you, you picked up, I've been bothering you to get him, and he's always been busy, is um, Tim Palmieri. Right. I, I, I seen Tim this past winter do a show of Beatles, and he was just, he blew me out of the water. So I'm really glad that... He does Beatles see. A to Z. Yeah. He actually can perform every Beatles song yeah. from across the universe, straight yeah. A through Z. So you were yeah. also asking me to get another band who yeah. haven't played for many years for me, who played yeah. our conventions, and that's the Taxman. The Taxman, And yeah. they've sort of yeah. gotten back together. I don't yeah. know if they've been playing all along, but they're going to yeah. be there too. So that's exciting. And even number nine, I, I, I said to you a few times, we, we should look into them. But now, not to put you on the spot, now... When you go about like your staff of people, you when these groups submit, you 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 go to their site and listen to them. They send you a disc. How do you decide 
what bands you're going to go with. I've actually had people ask me this. Yeah. And and how do you determine, you know, like who's going to play? Obviously, you want them to be, you know, good. Uh, and now some of these groups aren't all professional, and some are more professional than others too. Is that right safe to say? So right. that's a great question. So two of the acts, Dramatic Turn and Corporation T-shirt, aren't your regular Beatle bands? Obviously, one of them is a bunch of you know kids who uh, I know as friends. Mm -hmm. They're from the Stratford, Trumbull, Fairfield area. And uh, they just vied for it. They beg to do it. They're selling tickets yeah. for it. They're really yeah. psyched for it. The other one, Corporation T-shirt, they're a, a group of musicians. They get together every Sunday and just practice Beatle, th Beatle songs. <laughs> and they've been wanting to do this a few years. So some bands are actually, you know, been... Um, you know, trying to get in for a few years, mm -hmm. and finally we say yes. Other bands, you know, have been with us in the past. We know their reputation. Uh, one group, Fools on the Hill, played a bunch of times. Now two of their members are coming out as a duo. And uh, then some of the bands we've approached and said, you know, all right, it's about time you've played the convention. You know, right. you've never done it. So it's a mix of people, uh, bands who we've had in the past, right. who uh, have wanted to play and never have, and groups that are just, you know, just givens, like, right. you know, the Hoffers, it's automatic. There's no, no question mark. Uh, if you say you're, you're ready, you want to play, you're on. There's a bunch of those. I, I, I uh, felt bad that Tim Root had a back out. I was looking forward. I've been doing, I got close to Tim and I've, been, I've done some things with Tim, not with the Hoffners, and he was excited about it, but he actually committed to working with Jerry. Yeah, uh, Timmy's one of the original members of The Needles, Right. and he's currently in another band who played with us as well, and he had said that he would do the show and couldn't do it, and we had a bunch of bands mm -hmm. that were just chomping at the bit, hoping right. that someone's yeah, going to cancel yeah. out. Mm -hmm. He canceled out in a Connecticut band called Double the Dial, jumped right in, uh, they're they're putting it all over Facebook, and they're real good in yeah. social media. So you know, for the event itself, it might have been a blessing in a way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we wish Tim could have done because he was yeah. doing an all Lennon set, which yeah, would have been great. Yeah, 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 Wayne yeah. Cabral is doing a, something similar. He's from the group The Onos. Oh, yeah. Who do yeah. nothing but solo stuff, rare material. They're doing a Ruddle song. Yeah, that's something. A Utopia uh, I, I, song. Yeah, a Ruddle song. I, I always hope that somebody will do a Bad Finger song or a Raspberry song. Something. Beatlesque. Beatle Beatle there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So, we always welcome that. So, okay, so people want to go to this. They can go to your site. Yeah. Call you up. You, you want to give a number? Oh, yeah, please. Uh, you know. Numbers uh, 203. 795-4737 for information. There's also two websites. One is the Oakdale Theater, which is oakdale.com, or our Beatles website, which has all the information on the festival, and that's www.fab4, the number four, fab4musicfestival.com. And it's got all the bands. It shows, you know, what they look like, what, what they're going to be doing. It's got uh, a lot of great links. There's got FAQs, which is frequently asked questions. Mm -hmm. Which hotel could we stay at if we mm -hmm. want to stay over? All that stuff. And that's all over there. And the, the phone number, again, if they want to ask us directly yeah. and don't want to go to the website, is 203-795-4737. And the great thing I want to say, I love where you did it before, um, but parking walking up the hill this the oakdale the, the parking is basically free it is it's all free yeah. i mean unless you know they they want a certain spot then i think the oak there might be a charge for vip yeah, but parking. that's something the oakdale does for everything they do so right. it's not anything to do with this right the only thing i want to bring up here today uh something is that um this is kind of a, for a benefit too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. There's a Wallingford. Is this is like the first time that it, it, that you're doing this where it's a benefit. Nope. We've always mm -hmm. tied in with a charity. We've always mm -hmm. had a benefiting charity, and it's always been different. Mm -hmm. It's been Hearst newspapers uh, for education. Um, one year we did when Newtown had their, you know, the, the unfortunate scenario. Mm -hmm. We we built a playground there and and really gave a ridiculous amount of money, which was great, and I'm very proud of it. And this year it's concerts. Uh, uh, with causes based out of Wallingford and they're going to be there in person and they're going to meet people and tell about their uh, about their charity and their official charity for the event. And how does that really work like a charity like like so a percentage of it or how do you divide that up or I, I 
different different ways yeah, for yeah. different events. In this case, um, they're going to be selling raffle tickets. Mm -hmm. um, we're giving them all the free space. We're putting their logo on everything, so it's more of an awareness thing. We get people to be aware of it. And mm -hmm. other in other times, you know, we've split a ticket with that. Mm -hmm. It can't do that this year because we're partnering with Live Nation mm -hmm. and the Oakdale. So um, there's not that 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 um, scenario where we can give a portion of tickets to charity. But um, hopefully they'll walk away with a lot of money and also make people aware of their of their charity. The other thing I want to do is I want to thank anybody that helps Charles out because most everybody is volunteering. Yeah. And even all the bands, nobody's taking any money or nothing. So I feel like I feel like, I, I, feel, I, feel, right. I feel like we're. we're uh, uh, Bangladesh, everybody's doing it for nothing, the way George said it or whatever. So, uh, you know. Well, we hope it's successful enough yeah. that, you know, the Oakdale loves us and wants us back. Right. And that we want to go back there and continue to, to grow it, maybe make it a two day event, mm -hmm. you know, and, and certainly give, you know, more money to charity from our proceeds. But that's the goal. The goal is to have it year after year and have the Fab Four Music Festival be Connecticut's premier event for Beatle fans. And it's really the only only festival of its kind on the East Coast. I, I got to tell you something. You know, I was worried that when you didn't do it last year and then you wanted to pick it up, after you somewhat built it up, I was concerned for you as a friend, uh, you know. Uh, but because of the, 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 the 50th anniversary with Pepper, I think, you know, that would lift this. And uh, I like who we got, who you got as a guest and, and all that. I mean, one thing I got to say, and he'll tell you this, is that, when he does these things, I try to make him a convention. Let's get more guests. Let's more get more dealers. dealers. And, you know, I mean, well, and, and everything else. But, yeah. So. Well, you know, we want to bring in the, the generations. We want to bring parents with their kids. We want to bring grandparents with their kids, with their grandkids. I think it's all about the music. You know, mm -hmm. someone wants to come in and hear Come Together. They want to hear Yellow Submarine. They want to hear She Loves You. Uh, if they go and buy a souvenir, great. But, you know, that's what it's all about. Now, this is, it, will, will or Kenny, Nutty Kenny, be selling uh, T-shirts? Uh, yeah, we have yeah. a beautiful design. We'll have yeah, an official okay. convention, uh, not a fe festival T-shirt. This is one from a few years back, um, but the new one's going to be much nicer, and the, much cooler. all the bands that perform will be on all it. All the bands are listed on yeah, there, yeah, absolutely, yeah. 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 And uh, that's, that's a Except good Except the topic. Hoffners. We left them off this year. Well, then put my name on it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kenny always gives me. So what else could you tell the, 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 the listeners, the viewers about the show that we, well, we, we haven't have, brought up? Right. Well, we have our MC is Ken Michaels, who has a radio show on WNHU and has a syndicated uh, radio. He's, he's, he's been doing that for many years. Right. Um, we haven't decided if he's going to be inside or outside, if I'm going to do some MCing or not. I'm not sure yet. Um, we're putting together a beautiful program for the event. We've never had a 20-page program. And along with, you know, listing all the bands and the times and everything else, we're also going to have uh, ads for my, my Beatles tour to Liverpool, which I yeah, do I every get, summer. Yeah, I want to get into that, too. Uh, yeah. The Vegas trip, right. which we do, right. you know, every February. What do you call love or something? The Weekend of Love, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just so many great things that we do besides the, the Beatles Music Festival for Beatles fans, so that's the pretty much another way to get the word out for it. So let's talk about that. So now you've been doing, you're, you're, you're like an ambassador in Liverpool now yeah. or something? That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's a great I, I find that a, and, and you've been doing this for how long now? Well, I think you were in Liverpool before I ever yeah, was, but yeah. we've been doing the tour since 1983. Wow. Yeah, about 34 years of bringing people to London and Liverpool on our Magical History Tour. And we do that every August, and we're doing it again this August. Um, and then every uh, every winter in Fe February. February, yeah, around my do, birthday or George's right, birthday. Or, exactly. We do the Weekend of Love. And we go to the show love, and we do whatever Beatle events are there for a weekend. And it's that's grown into a nice little uh, get-together for people yeah. who kind of go to all our events. You know, right. they either come to the festivals or they come to Liverpool with us. Right. And now that gives them one more Beatle thing to do that's, you know, pretty special. You would never um, put you on the spot. You would never think about doing a convention again. No, it's just too much. Or, I know this is close. We're yeah. adding on to yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I don't know. I, you know, who never knows? You never, never say never. If, uh, you know, if we get a sponsor and says, hey, we'd like you to do a convention, we'll produce it, you, you just, you know, host it and present it. Sure, I would, but I don't see it. Yeah, I think it's yeah, past yeah, its time. Yeah. You know, there's still a few great conventions that take place right. in Jersey and in yeah. Chicago. Right. You know, but there really aren't, you know, there used to be in every town there was a convention, whether it was small or, or medium or whatever. 
It's not. It's not yeah. the same. It's about the music, and we want to keep the music alive and the spirit of the Beatles going forever. And what you're not going to do that through a button. You're not going to do right. that through uh, old Beatle dolls and old records. Right. You're going to do it through the music. Right. Um, now, was this idea partially taken? There's a show that goes on in Kentucky, mm. um, Abbey Road and the River. Mm. It's, it's not saying we're nicking from it, but kind of the uh, same scenario kind of or same idea also, or also a great question yeah. so abbey road on the river uh which has just moved from louisville kentucky it used to be in cleveland yeah we, right, it, right, yeah right, you right. took me to cleveland then yeah. i went to kentucky without you yeah and then not last year was it last year or the year before we both went it's that great. was the final it's year it's great yeah i love yeah. it so many yeah. bands you know and over so many days so that was if you're going to say was that did we nick it from that don't forget that came from liverpool Oh, which you kind of started right, there. Right, right, right. Okay. So, so it's like a yeah, circle. Yeah, there, yeah. We pretty much took what we were doing more yeah. from Liverpool and Beatle Week, yeah. as did Abbey Road on the River. Right. Um, but Abbey Road on the River did it big and did it great. You know, we're still, we're still keeping it one day. We're still in Connecticut. You right. know, it's not big bananas. It's, it's, it's families. It's, it's friends. It's special. Right. Yeah. So... What else that don't we know? So you're gonna have food vendor. Are you gonna have a lot of food, uh, yep. like food trucks outside in the parking yes. lot? Yes, we we'll have food trucks outside in the parking lot. We'll have food vendors inside. We're gonna have all the memorabilia people, and we're gonna have more than you think. So you're gonna mm -hmm. be pleased. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna have everything from the the fifty cent buttons right up to valuable autographs, right up to great collectibles. We'll have Gene Cornish, of course, of the Rascals, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame special guest. And he'll be there the whole time. Mm -hmm. And you don't forget, this is going from 1 o'clock till 10 p.m. That's something we didn't mention. Yeah. If someone wants to come at 1 o'clock and, and enjoy the whole day, they can. Right. If they get off work, what, they work or they go yeah. away or do something on that Saturday, June 10th, they could come at 8 o'clock. They'll still see bands. They could come at 9 o'clock and still see the Hoffner Show. Everything will still be there. So you could come and go as you please throughout the day. And that's the great thing of a festival. Yeah. yeah. Like a convention. Right. It's not a concert. It's a concert plus. It's a right. concert plus uh, right. plus a, a record show. It's a concert plus uh, right. a, a meet and greet. It's right. everything combined. Yeah. Yeah. And, and those all those things make it a great event. June 10th. We didn't say that June right 10th. off the bat, yeah, right? right? June 10th. Also, uh, it, it's okay for people with their phones to shoot anything there or tape or yeah. take pictures. I've been in some productions where they didn't want people taking photos, so they could take we welcome all it. they want and put it on Facebook. And they could also <laughs> share it if, with friends. If they want to talk to the bands or get an autograph or something signed. One hundred percent. It's right. it's complete access. Yeah. No one is you know uh, please no yeah, autograph yeah, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah complete access and. Um, you're gonna you're gonna find that people will gravitate towards the younger bands that are maybe are playing the rockier stuff. Yeah. You're gonna find some people who just love the dress up bands, yeah. and then there's you know the real obscure people who love the obscure stuff. Yeah. Whoa, that's a McCartney yeah. song I yeah. haven't heard yeah. since yeah. I played the album, and there's something for everyone. And I think that's what really makes it really makes it a little special mm -hmm. when you go see a tribute band like yourself mm -hmm. or a Beatlemania group. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of us out there, right? Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, you're gonna see the show, and you're gonna make. You may see just the early stuff. You may see beginning right through Abbey Road. At a festival like this, you are gonna get every single aspect of Beatledom, of Beatles music. Yeah. You're gonna get the stuff they did before they were famous with Pete Best. Right. You're gonna get the early hits. You're gonna get that me middle period and some deep album cuts. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get solo things, and then, like you mentioned before, you're gonna get the the Beatlesque, Beatleish non beetle things that fit the format. Right. You know, right. the Utopia, the Ruddles, the Bad Fingers. Right. Berries. Yeah. Monkeys. Monkeys, yeah. too. It's going to be great. And I wonder, we don't know yet, if Gene Cornish or the Rascals is going to surprise us and actually jump on stage with some of the bands and play. That'd be cool. We think so, but we can't well, say officially. They... They had a little bit of a hit, as the Beatles did, with a song called Slow Down. So, right. so he knows that one there, too. So that's pretty right, cool. Right. So, okay, so people want to get in touch with you to do with your uh, trips to England mm -hmm. and uh, obviously to Vegas in February. Is there a certain uh, site they should go to or Facebook or, or, or what, what would they do? Oh, yeah. That? So they can uh, go to the website liverpooltours.com www.liverpooltours.com uh, which has all the information on our trip to England when we go to London Liverpool it also has the information on our 
uh, Vegas Weekend of Love, which we do in February. And if the Hoffners or any of the Beatle bands do a dinner dance party, that's where it is. That's where it's always posted along with Facebook. Right. But um, if they ever want to call and just, you know, once a month, hey, what's going on, Beatles? Yeah. They can call the 203 795 4737. I'll say it again. Call me, 203-795-4737. I'll answer any Beatle questions you have. <laughs> I'll do that even if someone has like an album and they want to know if it's valuable or they found something in their basement or in their attic. It's, huh? it's, funny, it's funny you bring that up, not to cut you, because people said to me, could I bring something in there? And there's people there that would know. I said, yeah, if Charles doesn't know, I mean, Bill Last would know. Yep. You could bring it. He'll appraise it, whatever, you know. So you, you, that's another thing you might want to do. You, you're welcome to do that as long as you're saying it's okay. Oh, you know? it's definitely yeah. okay. Some so. some of the exhibitors or the dealers or the fans might buy it on the spot. You know, someone mm -hmm. brings a collectible and, you know, they're holding it around. My right. guess is if they want to sell it, they're yeah. going to sell it. Yeah. You know, there's always a buyer for something. And not to start rumors, but you never know who shows up at these things. Charles knows a lot of people in the Beatle world uh, that live in... New Jersey and the tri-state, New York. No, and don't give away any secrets so, here. But uh, you never know who, who could maybe show up or be walking around. But that's not why you're coming. But that yeah, could happen. Yeah, actually, Paul McCartney called and he said he wanted to come. And I said, nah, I, I, we, the Oakdale can't hold that many people. <laughs> you have to just play your shows in Jersey and in Brooklyn and all that. <laughs> By the way, we'll, we'll, be at, we'll be at some of those shows. We'll be looking for you there, too. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go back again. So I want to make sure that you uh, plug... The show, the, the website, the phone number, um, what time? What time to what time? And yep, we'll recap. Okay, it's the Fab Four Music Festival, and the website is www.fab4 the number four uh, musicfestival dot com. Uh, the bands are the Hoffners, Penny Lane, Mystery Tour, the Onos, the Wayback Machine, Pat Horgan and Thunder Road, Al Ferrante's. Country Gentleman, Beetlehead, Corporation T-Shirt, Scott Ringel, Fools on the Hill Duo, Wayne Cabral, Jeffrey DeSera, Rotary, The Taxman, Dramatic Turn, Eric Herbst from Dizzy Fish, Tim Palmieri from Beatles A to Z, Double the Dial, Number 9, David Tesler's Prefab Monkeys All-Star Band, and if I forgot anybody, uh, they're going to be there. Um, of course, Gene Cornish of The Rascals is our special guest of honor. And, um, you know, you guys are the headliners. There's no doubt the Hoffners, you know, get f full billing there. But anyone who comes is going to love every single band and of every single aspect. And it's, it's it, you know, it's a great time. I, I'm not going to say a guarantee. A splendid time is guaranteed for, for all. all. Yeah. I'll say it's guaranteed to raise a smile. Yeah. Um, one thing I want to say is that, you know, a lot of some people have just this, this concept that only the good bands or the dress up bands. And that's not true because even way back when, there was a group called Beetlejuice, I guess, from Boston or yeah. from Mass, and they were sensational, and they didn't dress up and do wigs and, and all that. And actually, you know, there are other bands. So as much as, I get, but you know, there are people that just love the music, and if it's done correctly, and, and that, that's what they care about. And there's some people that like to dress up bands, like my band, and, and we try to do best on everything, you know, but... So there's something for everybody, and and there are some. I've met people that don't like that somebody might change a Beatles song, but I actually like the idea of, of seeing it done slowed down or jazzed up or yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, and everybody should just be light about it. You know. Um, well, we mentioned Al Ferrante's Country Gentleman and their original concept. Were they going to do country versions of Beatles songs? Mm -hmm. I don't. I think they're going to rock out anyway. That's the one where Rich Dart from the Monkees yeah, yeah. is the drummer. Um, but that's what you're going to find. I mean, you know, the younger bands are usually punkier and heavier and raunchier. And faster, like new yeah, wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and I think, you know, when you have the clone bands, the ones who wear the wigs and the, and the costumes and the, you know, the beetle boots mm -hmm. and all that, you're going to find that they're going to try to be note for note perfect. Mm -hmm. And the other bands might take a little more liberty with what they're doing. And I think you're right. Fans who come to see the Beatle bands want both. You know, you're getting the best of both worlds in right. that way because you're not just seeing the, the tribute bands that are the clone bands. You're also seeing the bands that might improvise yeah. and might make it their own. And, and there was a time where we didn't like that. There was a time where we were purists and only wanted the Beatle bands yeah. that looked the part and sounded the part. Right. I'll, I'll tell you one thing I want to say that, that this man does, which I do like, and is that you, when the groups are submitting songs, 
if, if, if every band says, I want to do Penny Lane, you'll go, well, this band already called it. Right. So we're not right. doing it. Or, or Twist whatever. and shout. Yeah. Every you know. band would end with Twist and Shout if yeah. they were given, you know, the opportunity. No, you're right. And it's not like the Beatles only had a couple songs or a couple albums. And, and again, Endless. I was talking to, to Bill about this today. So it, it's nice that, you know, um, that there's so many they could choose from and, and, and all that. You know, part of me is going to miss doing some of the older stuff, you know, uh, but I'm excited about doing something different where I have to think again and, and all that, you know, so. I was going down the list, and I noticed there, I'm not going to tell you which ones, but I noticed there were a few real obvious songs not picked. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw it out throw there it out to there, everybody yeah. and say, okay, guys. Good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. here's a few songs that you really might want to play that you aren't, uh, that you aren't including in the set. And you're right, there was a handful of songs that it seemed everybody wanted to do this year. Hello, Goodbye was one of them. Mm -hmm. Help was one of them. There was a handful of songs that every, like, literally five or six bands wanted to do. And I said, guys, you know, we're not repeating songs. I gave in a little if a band was on at 1 o'clock and then another band was on at 8 o'clock and mm -hmm. there were hours, or if they were outside and inside. Right. But, um, no, we try to, uh, that's, the, I think, pretty special to try to get every single band to not replicate a song that another right. band's doing. Right. I, I missed the idea, you know, we didn't do it last year. We were going to do either the last concert the Beatles did or we were going to do, I think, Tokyo, Japan. You know, I was going to have to go nuts to try to get some kind of a suit for that, but <laughs> to replicate that, because we had done, the Hoffners had done the Ed Sullivan set. Correct. And then a few years ago, when we, we came out with the shade jackets, it was unbelievable. Yeah. And we walked through the field. It looked great. We, walked through the crowd, right? So, yeah, it, it was great. So uh, the shade thing really touched me, but. Well, what are you going to do next year if we do this festival? Yellow Sub? I'm going to have to. <laughs> and the White Album, yeah. Or you can do the touring show. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. If we do another show, if thousands of people in this listening yeah. area come yeah. and, and the show's a success, we'll do it again. It's like a movie. Yeah. If, the, if, the, if the first one is great, you know yeah. there's going to be a sequel. Right. If the event does well and people have a great time and they support it and come, absolutely we'll keep doing it. So it, now this, this will be, I don't. We, we could mention that too. This will be on certain radio stations. So could we throw those out here? Or? Yeah, it's going to be advertised on radio stations. Sure, there'll be probably articles, some write ups. Some yeah, in some of the papers. newspapers, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, have I'm going to be interviewed on some radio stations mm -hmm. and talking about it. So there's no doubt we're going to publicize as as much as we can because nothing irks me more than after the event, people go, ah. Oh, I wish I knew about it. I would yeah, have come. Yeah. How come you didn't put it in this paper? Or how come yeah. you... There's just so much you can do. There's just so many newspapers you can afford to advertise in or radio stations you could yeah. be on. And there's not a lot of radio stations that play Beatles. And the New Haven Advocate isn't even up and running anymore. Right. And then it was something else. Right. That so was always a go-to yeah, for us. Yeah. yeah. But um, what else would you like to say before we, we, we finalize everything here today? Well... I'd like to thank you, Mike, because you have such input into these shows. People don't realize that you are such a big part of every event, and it's not just behind, behind you're behind the drum kit for the Hoffners. Mm -hmm. You recommend guests to me. You push me to get dealers. Um, you push me to advertise it. Yeah, you said don't just get you know a pizza guy and an ice cream guy. Mm -hmm. Try to get a barbecue guy. Yeah. Try to get you know a mm -hmm. kernel um, a, a kettle corn. You really yeah, do. Yeah. You push me. And you push me to have these events. And I think people don't realize it. When they see you on the street, when's Charles going to do another convention? You come back to me immediately. Mm. And you put it in this ear. Yeah. And it doesn't come out this ear. It stays there. And yeah. you really, that's what people should know. That Mike Strito, who's the host of your show here, uh, and you guys get to see him on TV once in a while, mm. you really have a lot of input. In the old days, you were my uh, news editor. You were my uh, Good Day Sunshine editor. And in the old days, you would... Uh, help me produce the conventions. And even though you're not uh, a titled producer on the event, gosh, you do probably as much as anybody else next to me for these events. Thank you very much. And I so, appreciate so that. Yeah, yeah, people have to know that. And yeah. if, they, if they don't know anything about me, they know that um, I probably wouldn't do half the things I do Beatle wise if you weren't around. I got to push him to do a monkeys convention someday. That's not happening. <laughs> 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 not but, anymore. Uh, but, uh, anyways, so. So again, final. So they want to know about your your trips to England, and they want to do the trips to Vegas. Yep, we'll run that again. So for the Beatle tours to Liverpool, the Magical History tours, it's 
liverpooltours.com, easy enough, www.liverpooltours.com. For this festival, the Fab Four Music Festival, it's wwwfab 4 the number 4 musicfestival.com. And they can always call us at 203-795-4737. I'm usually there to answer the phone, or Kelly will answer it during business hours. And um, it's June 10th. It's a Saturday. It happens to be my birthday. Yeah. Saturday, June 10th. And um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, somebody better play yeah. birthday and dedicate it to me. Uh, and it's from 1 o'clock till 10 o'clock at the Toyota Oakdale Theater. Under the dome, we're calling it the Pepperland Dome. And outside on the patio, we're calling it the Octopus's Garden Patio. Oh, here we go. Ten bands inside, ten bands outside. Nonstop music. You know, who could ask for anything more? If you're a Beatle fan. Yeah, I mean, it, the other the other great thing is, I know mean, we, we had years not to look back. We're, we're arranged. So the great thing is we're, we're protected inside, God forbid. You know, uh, even the groups yes. that are outside, it's a patio. They're, they're covered over, but... You know, everything is you know, yeah, it's mostly a, it's inside. Tent, it's, I think it's a tented patio, but if it turns out that it's a torrential, God forbid, if it right, rains right. and pours, uh, there's a giant convention room yeah. that they all come inside. So we have two sets of acts. We have t- 10 bands inside, 10 bands outside, but if the rain's so hard, we'll move the outside bands inside mm-hmm. as well. We'll have two indoor stages, and we'll also move all the food trucks. We'll, we'll bring in the food inside. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely a plan B if the weather doesn't hold up. I, I got to tell you, too, I, I, I'm just so excited. that uh, I've always wanted you to do something at the Oakdale. Not that I didn't like the other venue when I did, but the Oakdale, just so many great memories uh, and, and one of the great memories was seeing the monkeys there in 86. And Ringo. Yeah, and, and I had goosebumps, you know. Uh, I've seen so many great shows at, at that Oakdale, Petula Clark. I got to kiss her on stage. <laughs> there's just so it many. It on and on, right? The mamas and, oh, just so many great moments. Even when it was the old Oakdale where, you know, it was raining through Richard Marks. I can go on and on and on. So I'm excited, uh, and, and you know, to, to be doing something or seeing you do something there. So... I do hope it's successful and we could do it again. And, well, and they're that. they're great. You know, Jim Koplick has been a friend for many years, and Jim Bozzi, who runs the place, just he couldn't be more give us more input and more insight and is helping us along the way. But a great friend of mine, Michael Andrews Bonus, who I've known for many years in the DJ business and the club business, is the general manager. Mm-hmm. And you know, when you have friends in a place, it makes it so much. It's, it's so smooth, and it's so you feel comfortable, and you feel part of the family. And the Oakdale, it's an institution. I don't think there's anyone in the world who, who doesn't have a great memory of seeing a show there, or have a, a great, great story to tell of going to the Oakdale, and hopefully going to see a Beatles music festival at the Oakdale, which has had rain, and it's had 1964, and it's had a lot of Beatle bands through right, the years. Right, right. Right. Seeing a festival there will hopefully be another special occasion for people at the Oakdale. Yeah, and it's easy access on and off, and it's it, it's a, it, it's laid out really nice. I, you know, and I, I guess even they'll they'll have some food, and and you know they'll be selling some drinks, stuff, drinks too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and things too. So that's great. We should mention that all, not only our event but all the Oakdale events at oakdale.com. If they want to, you know, check this out through there, they can also. It's the same thing. They're getting some good shows this year. They, they've added some really good shows. Uh, I actually got, I'm going to go see the Moody Blues here. So I'm excited Me about too. that. Me too. All right. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you there. Nah. <laughs> and Dylan is there the week after us. A lot of great shows. Yeah. And, and yeah, that tie, some Beatle tie-ins here. For sure. Yeah. But uh, anyways, it was great having you on today. And uh, I, I can't believe how fast this is going to come up and... Uh, and grab us, you know, and uh, it's pretty exciting. I love being on the show. I love that you give me the opportunity to talk about things we both have a passion for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. We really do. <laughs> and in the history, <laughs> which we've covered in past shows. I, I remember, like I said, doing things with him and his mother and his father, and it goes all the way back to that. And even the magazine, you know, I love being a part of that. And when you first took the magazine over, I was like, eh. <laughs> and then I, I love that end up more than even pushing you. Let's do a convention. Let's do this. Let's do that. Good day, sunshine, right? Yeah, GDS. A lot of great memories. 
I, I remember you doing shows in the Catskills too. You know, we you did Beetle Weekends in Beetle, the Catskills. Beetlemania and things like that. You know, we would take bus trips to TV stations that would call on us, Phil yeah. Donahue, yeah, and um, uh, uh, I forgot already, Sally Jesse Raphael. Yeah. You know, when they had a music theme, they would call yeah, us, and yeah. we would fill the audience. Yeah, the View, yeah. I think, early on. Yeah, the View with Ringo. Yeah, and and and, and Julian, and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Cruise, great times that we had. I also remember you renting out a bus and taking people to New York to go see Beatlemania. I think we went to wow, the, in the early Fontaine 70s. Or no, something. the late 70s, early 80s, yeah. yeah. I remember Miles and his wife Pam being on the bus. and To the party uh, bus to see yeah, Beatlemania yeah, in Broadway. Yeah. I forgot that. Yeah. Like a magical mystery tour trip bus, uh, almost kind of thing, looking back at wow. it. Wow. And speaking of that, I want to say one more thing before we close. Not only is it the, the 50th anniversary for Sgt. Pepper, but it's also the 50th anniversary for Magical Mystery Tour, the soundtrack, and the film. But that's more around, I think, December-ish. The later part of, right, because Pepper came out in June. Yeah. It came out June 1st in the UK and June 2nd in America. Right. And uh, aside from the Fab Four Music Festival being a celebration of the 50th anniversary of Sgt. Pepper, you know that Sirius Radio just started an all Beatles radio station. I heard that. I haven't heard it, but I heard about it. That's in conjunction wild, yeah. with the 50th anniversary of yeah, Pepper. So yeah. that's that's long overdue. Maybe there'll be a whole new, you know, slew of new Beatle fans and a yeah, whole new yeah. uh, excitement of Beatledom and Beatlemania because of the 50th anniversary yeah. of Pepper. I hope so. And and there's a lot of things coming out. Uh, we talked about on, on vinyl. They're going to put out the, the Pepper with, with the way it was supposed to be with. Penny Lane and, and uh, Strawberry Fields. Strawberry Fields, and there'll probably be a lot of lot of things. And of course, Ringo is touring this year again. McCartney is out there, so there's a lot of things we could we'll see is that, or we'll bump into people. And it's uh, a great year for Beatles yeah, fans. It really is, yeah. So wow. But uh, anyways, thanks again. Oh, thank you. And uh, good luck with everything. And as always, I like to end the show and go peace and love. And we'll see you the next time. Take care. God bless.